Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Keith, and welcome to my review of the new film, Little Italy. This is the new film from director Donald Petrie, which stars Hayden Christensen and Emma Roberts. They play Leo and Nikki respectfully. Now, Leo and Nikki have been friends since they were little kids. They seem to be inseparable, and they've got this outstanding rivalry between the two of them. But it's all good, because it's all in love. And the other thing is, is that their dads are good friends as well. They own the same pizzeria. So they've grown up hanging out in Little Italy and uh, just becoming good friends. But then all of a sudden, something happens between the two dads. And as a result of that, the families seem to part ways. But they haven't gone too far because they're running rival pizzerias right next door to each other. Nikki leaves to go to England where she's studying, uh, she's studying culinary arts and then situations arise where she needs to come back to Canada. And coming back to Canada and coming back to Little Italy, she's thrown right back into the family drama. Now Leo hasn't gone too far because he's working at his dad's pizzeria, being quite the ladies man, and now all of a sudden Nikki's come back. What will that mean? What it means for us is a pretty entertaining film. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about, well, Hayden Christensen nor Emma Roberts are Italian. Okay, but Robert Downey Jr. wasn't Australian or black in the movie Tropic Thunder, and he still got nominated for an Oscar, so let's just chill. The movie's entertaining, and it's a fun date movie, and I love that the movie's Canadian. Um, however, the movie is extremely predictable. Um, so if you're going into this thinking, oh my god, I wonder what will happen within moments of seeing the movie, you kind of know what will happen. But that doesn't take away from the fact that it's entertaining. I don't ne necessarily know that Hayden Christensen and Emma Roberts were the scene stealers for me. For that, that was more so Danny Aiello and Andrea Martin. Of course, Andrea Martin stole every scene she was in in My Big Fat Greek Wedding. And the fact that now she's in Little Italy just tells me she's versatile. Tell me, Andrea Martin, will you play Trinidadian next? Because if so, I want to be in that movie with you. Danny Aiello and Andrea Martin were hilarious in this film, and the biggest laughs in the movie seem to be reserved for them. Overall, it's a sweet film. It's an endearing film, but not necessarily one you need to run to the box office to see. If you get a chance to see Little Italy, which I give a C plus to, I would love to know what you think. CFL underscore fan on Twitter, Facebook.com slash Witty Whittier and Witty Whittier.com. Thank you so much for checking this out. My name is Keith, and I'll see you at the movies.